Welcome back to Astonishing Studios for my first LEGO tutorial in months. I hope I can do more of these in the near future because I definitely miss them. So today I will show you how to build a lifelike mousetrap completely out of LEGO. There are some of these on YouTube but they don't look too accurate. I personally built one several years ago. You can find it on my channel but I'm definitely not linking it in the description because the production quality was just horrific. Let me demonstrate how a real mousetrap works for the few of you who have not seen it before. The mousetrap bar, or I guess you could call it this arm, will spring onto the mouse's head once this bar is released from this sensitive area. But with this lifelike Lego alternative, it is strong enough to mimic the real thing, yet weak enough where it actually won't hurt your finger. And since we are one month away from Christmas Eve, I'm going to scatter 15 random Amazon gift card codes throughout this video, many of which range from $5 to $10. The codes should be hidden well enough that several days after this video's release, there should still be some unclaimed prizes. Start with the 1x4 template and on top of that put on the exact same piece. Put on two 1x1 cheese wedges facing away from us in the center. Now take the two 1x2 bricks with two holes and put one on the right side facing away from us as well as on the left side. And unify them at the top with a 1x4 tan plate. For the hardest part of this build, take a small elastic band and then take a 1x1 brick with one hole and you're going to wiggle it through. Now that it's through, you're going to take Lego element 32039. I forgot what the real name is. You're going to wiggle it through here, but just so it wraps around the bushing. And you could probably tell that was pretty easy, but now it's gonna get difficult. So we need to have enough space with this elastic band to wiggle through with pretty much exactly what we did. So that means one more tan brick and then one more dark gray piece. Okay, so there we go. Now we need to get the dark gray piece on just through the bushing. Make a hole for this, wiggle it through, and voila. I will not lie, this is probably like my sixth take trying to get this on on camera, so just be patient with it. Now unify the two parts of our build by taking the rubber band piece, folding it away from us, and putting one stud of the one by one brick on the left side and one on the right side. I did that in the irrespective order, it doesn't matter. Then we have a one by two brick area here. So carefully put on a tan brick to fill that up. Okay, and there we go. Now we don't have to worry about the elastic bands too much. Now take another one by one brick with one hole and put it onto the left side. And let's not put on the right side just yet. Take a four stud long axle and put on this element 32013. Wiggle it until it's right in the middle. Take two yellow half bushings to secure the middle part successfully in the middle. Take one of the two stud long red axles and put it right into the axle hole. Now take a two by two round yellow plate, put it on top, and finally stack on top a two by three yellow plate and make sure it connects to the round plate. Take what we just made and wiggle it into the exposed hole and then take another one of these one by one bricks with the hole and make sure to secure the other end of the axle. On top of each 1x1 brick, put on a 1x1 plate. Unify the 1x1 plates with a 1x4 plate, so that means we have to bend over this yellow piece. Finally, on top of the plate, put on a 1x1 tile, a 1x2 tile, and last but not least, a 1x1 plate. Put down a 1x10 black plate, followed by a 1x3 black plate, and we are going to replicate this layer in tan, but flipped over so the bricks interlock. From right to left, we are going to put on a 1x1 brick with one hole, two 1x2 tiles, a 1x1 plate, a 1x1 tile, a 1x2 brick, a 1x3 brick, and a 1x1 brick with one side stud. Unify the left side with a 1x6 plate. On the left side, from left to right, we're going to put on a 1x1 brick with one hole, followed by a 1x4 brick, then followed by a 1x1 brick. Once again, unify the left side with a 1x6 plate. On top of that, put on a 1x6 brick. And now it is time to put on the difficult part of the mechanism. And just for clarification, we are going to have this brick connect to the stud that was right between the tiles. Now let's rotate this around so we can observe what's going on on the right side. On top of this brick, stack on two 1x1 plates. 
follow up with a one by one brick with one hole. And then I should have thought ahead with this, but you're going to put on another brick with one hole. So that means we have to slowly release the mechanism and wiggle our part on, but it seemed like it worked successfully for me. In the hole of this one by two brick that is furthest from the camera, we're going to put on one of these blue pegs with a studded knob. And then we are going to connect this one by one tower of parts to the left side, as well as to this blue piece by connecting it all with a one by 10 tan plate. On the left side, put on a one by three plate. And for the last layer, we're going to put on a one by one tile, a one by six tile, and finally another one by six tile. Just push everything on. Besides the rightmost brick, which is connected to a one by one plate, these two bricks with holes don't have anything in them and they do have a purpose. So in each one, we are going to put in another one of the studded blue knobs. And connected to that, we are going to put on a black one by six tile. Let's rotate this around. And the reason I did not use a one by one brick with a hole here is because we only have one, meaning that it needs to have a very firm connection to this one by six tile. Therefore, we have this very nice looking black border. But let's turn this back to the back for a second. Put in one of these connectors with an axle side and a smooth side, preferably in the peach color so it's smooth. Then take a universal joint connector and place it on top of that axle. Between the two protruding bricks, we are going to put in a black worm gear, which is not functional, but it just looks nice like a real mouse trap. Then you are going to take a six stud long axle and wedge it through this dark gray piece. And then we are going to move this two unit part over here so it can go through one of the holes of the one by two bricks with two holes, as well as going through the worm gear, as well as going through to the other side. Now we are going to take the other dark gray piece and make sure the axle goes through that. I hope that was clear enough. In the hole of each dark gray piece, put in a five stud long axle. Take this Technic piece with an axle hole on each side and in each hole you are going to put in a two stud long red axle. Attached to each axle, you are going to put on a 90 degree dark gray piece. So there's one on the right and of course there's one on the left. Now you are going to connect this to the two axles that are five studs long making our most brutal part of the mousetrap, I guess I could say. If you would like to go the extra mile, print out this Victor logo as a sticker. I have a link to it in the description and I'm not affiliated with this mousetrap company and you are going to apply it to the mousetrap so that the end of the V points to the universal joint. Now I'm going to carefully apply it so it's symmetrical. Just like that, we added so much character to this creation. In the hole of the universal joint, we are going to put in an eight stud long axle. We're going to rest it along the worm gear for now. On the end of the axle, put on a half stud long bushing, let's say in yellow, and you are going to wiggle this on until this two by three brick perfectly fits over the little slot of the bushing. Do you see what I mean? Okay, so let me just demonstrate this now. So let's pull this back, pull this axle forward, and place the two by three brick on top. Therefore, when somebody puts their finger on it, they are not in for such a nice surprise. Let's pull the arm back, put the axle on top, set the ridge of this yellow bushing below the plate, set our bait, which I'll use a Cheerio instead of cheese because I'm out of cheese, and let's wait for the next victim. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video, and I hope to see you all very soon.